Bikes are booming in Atlanta, fueled partly by a rebate from the city that already has 9,000 applications. Yeah, and the growing number of these bikes out on the street has many people concerned about the high-speed collisions that may come with it. Atlanta News First, Blake Devine joins us live from the Beltline. So, Blake, there's been a surge of reckless riding on these bikes. Carly and Tori e-bikes are booming here on the Beltline as it's become a very popular place for people to get outside and exercise. Although it's gotten quite crowded and today I talked to plenty of people who voiced their concerns about electronic bikes posing a potential risk for people on the path. E-bikes have become a common sight to see in Atlanta. Speeding and barreling by on the Beltline, Ben Halpern almost crashed into one of them. All of a sudden, boom, here comes an e-bike. And I have to do some, something crazy to like stop myself to, to avoid hitting them or having them hit me. He's not the only one revved up, as Carlos Verdejo, who regularly runs on the trail, also experienced a close call. The bike was trying to avoid us and it hit a stack of other bikes that were actually parked. Yeah, because yeah, she wasn't paying attention and it's getting too crowded for those type of motorized bikes. According to the city of Atlanta, e-bikes are only allowed to ride 20 miles per hour on shared use paths. Although we never saw any street signs on Saturday. When there's usually like a big group of people going one way, a big group of people going the other way and they're trying to weave in and out. Uh, a lot of people getting close to being hit. E-bikes are quiet, environmentally friendly, and the fastest way to ride around. Yet some believe they don't belong on the Beltline. There's like no bike zones or the no scooter zones. Maybe just making the Beltline one of those. Yeah, I think there should be a different um, park for those type of um, motorized bikes because folks are coming here with their kids, their family, their pets, yeah. and it's getting too crowded. Now we reached out to the Atlanta Police Department who says their officers will issue citations to riders operating e-bikes at illegal speeds on city streets. Reporting live on the Beltline, Blake Devine, Atlanta News First. Blake, thank you.